box. Here's one I've been practicing. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. I could do this all day. Cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, hey Siri, play British Kids theme song by Chloe Blackford and Tessa Maine. Da -da 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 the British Kids theme song. Come on down and sing along. British Kids theme song. Dance all day long. Take it, Chloe. We love God. We love people too. We listen up when the teacher's speaking. We're treating others how we want to be treated now. And we do our best to have fun today. Bridge Kids Sing Song! Yeah! You guys look so gigantic. Yeah, they do. Miss Brooke, you gotta take a look. Oh, I, oh wow, that is wow. amazing. You know what guys, I love binoculars. You can see, you can use them to see things that are really far away and for example, I might see a tiny little speck on the oh, mountain there, side in the distance. You, there you guys is see that? a little speck. <laughs> yeah. Actually, take and, a look. But if I take a closer look with these, uh -oh. I can see that that speck is. What is that? Is, it's a grizzly bear! <laughs> Hey guys, I think the coast is clear. I think we'll be okay. Okay. Oh. Wow, oh. that was a close one, guys. Wow. I'm glad that bear is oh. gone. Oh. You know, there are a lot of things that we can use to help us see something better. Binoculars, microscopes, telescopes that help us look at the mm. night sky, and all of these things, they help us to focus. They help yeah. us to take a closer look. Yeah. Nice. This month, we're putting our focus on something that's really important, but it's actually something that you can't see. Say hey, what? what? Guys, I'm talking about faith. Mm. Oh. See, faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Mm. Uh, how can you do that? How can you trust in something you can't see? Mm. Well, it's simpler than you might think, and we can start by taking a closer look. So to kick things off for today, we're bringing back the tried and true game the game that I hope to remain as a champion on. Tongue Twister! Yeah. We've played Tongue Twisters for Bridge Kids Online before, but in case you need a reminder, we'll all take a turn twisting our terrific tongue talents around a variety of phrases and invite you to play along at home too. Our phrases will be on the screen and we'll have 30 seconds to say as many of these as we can. The winner, obviously, receives the world's fastest array of 50 high fives. Guys, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, let's okay, go. let's go! Okay, so here we go. Round number one. I'm gonna need your help, Bridge Kids. Say a little prayer for me. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, an oyster more. If a black bug bleeds black blood, what color blood does a blue blood bleed? If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which witch? Rory's lawn rake rarely rakes really right. She sold six shabby sheared sheep on a ship. Mix a box of mixed biscuits with a box to biscuit. If you notice this notice, you will notice that this notice is not worth noticing. The bottom of the butter bucket is the buttered bucket bottom. Vincent vowed vengeance very vehemently. Does your stop, sports shop stock short stops with spots? Oh. Many mumbling mice are making merry music in the moonlight. The boot. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I've set the precedence with 11. No kidding. I got 11. Yeah. So who's ready to take it to the next level? 
I'm ready, Mr. Adam. Oh, I wish you well, <laughs> Pastor Mark. Thanks. Good luck up there. Here we go. All right, here we go with round number two. It's my turn. Here we go with 30 seconds on the clock, and... The boot black brought the black boot back. Super duper stormtroopers whoop it up at Death Star groupers. Helmet thrashing, <laughs> rebel bashing, laser blasting at party poopers. No, no need to light a night light on a light night like tonight. Shave a single shingle fin. Imagine an imaginary menagerie manger, manager Woo! managing an imaginary menagerie. Woo! The kindly kittens kit knitting mittens keeping kazooing in the king's kitchen. Brisk, brave, brr, I don't know that word. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's time! <laughs> wow! Well, guys, I had seven. Those are really hard. Really <laughs> hard. Wow. Well, Bridge Kids, if you're playing along at home, we would love to see a video of your tongue twisters too. So have mom, dad, or a grandparent send a video our way. We'd love to see you. Yeah, we would. All right, who's next? I'm up. Let's go, bro. All right, Bridge Kids. Ready for round three. Here I go trying to defend my title, but Adam did amazing. So I'm gonna have to bring it. All right, so let's get put 30 seconds on the clock and go. Roy the warrior and Roger the warrior were rear wrongly in a rural brewery. Lesser leather never weathered wetter weather better. She saw sheriff's shoes on the sofa, but was she so sure that was sheriff's shoes she saw? To begin to toboggan, first buy a toboggan, but don't buy too big a toboggan. Too big a toboggan is too big a toboggan to buy too big a toboggan. Hossack, hassock, black spotted hossack. Black spot on a black back of a black spotted hossack. On a lazy laser ra razor lies a laser razor razor. Oh my goodness! All right, Bridge Kids. Well, I got six, but I'm going to go to the judges because the toboggan one, I think it at least counted towards maybe three. So I'm going to go to the judges. Judges. Yeah. All right. So we're going to give credit for three. So I had six total plus the three. I've got nine. Oh. I still come in after Mr. Adam. Congratulations hey, on the good job, bro. That was a lot of fun. That's yeah, a lot of fun. that was awesome. I'm going to get my chance at redemption, though. <laughs> yeah. Don't you worry. Okay. So as a result of being today's winner, I get 50 of the world's fastest high fives. Ready? Go! Go, go, go! One, two, three. That was fun! <laughs> wow! My tongue is so twisted up right now. Yeah. Well, we really had to keep that focus. We sure did. Friends, thanks for watching today. We're so glad that you're a part of our church online. Oh, yeah. Bridge Kids is a family that loves God and loves people. So, welcome to the family. Faith is so important. Faith changes the way that we live our lives. It changes sure. the way we think about ourselves, the way we think about God, and the way that we treat other people. Mm -hmm. Here, take a look. Ooh. Oh, hey, thanks. Oh. Wow. See, our faith is sort of like binoculars that we can look through to see everything in life. It helps us to make sense of things that we see and know what to do when things get hard. Our faith reminds us that we can trust God no matter what. All right, Bridge Kids, let's say this together. You can know Jesus. You can know Jesus. Even though you've never seen him. Even, even though, though you've, you've never seen, seen him. Let's say that one more time. You can know Jesus. You can know Jesus. Even though you've never seen him. Even though you've never seen him. Yeah. You see, faith is all about believing in things that you can't see because of what you can see. We can't see God, but we can read about people who came before us and followed God. Mm -hmm. These were men and women who faced tough times, just like you and I do. Mm -hmm. sure. People who were hurting and scared and sometimes overwhelmed too. Mm. But they chose to follow God. They chose to trust his promise that one day he would send a rescuer. That rescuer was Jesus. Oh. The writer of the book of Hebrews reminds us about some of the, these people who we've met so far in God's big story. People like Noah and Abraham. Take Abraham, for example. Abraham was old, really old. It didn't seem like he and his wife Sarah would ever have any kids. But then God stepped in with a promise. 
God told Abraham to leave his country and his people to leave his family and go to the land that God would show him. Yeah, God promised him that all the nations of the earth would be blessed because of Abraham. You see, God was planning to send his rescuer who had come from Abraham's family. That's right. Abraham had God's promise, but he couldn't fully see the way God's promise would come true. Still, Abraham had the faith to trust God. Ah, much better. Yeah, totally. Hey, that is clear. Abraham left his home and his people. He followed God's call. Eventually, Abraham's son Isaac, his grandson Jacob, and his great-grandson Joseph all chose to put their faith in God. Just like Abraham, they believed that God keeps his promises. Wow, that is so good. You know, another great example is Moses. Yeah, Moses. Moses was called by God to do something rather extraordinary, something that he didn't really feel like he was ready to do, though. And in the moment, he couldn't really see how it would all work out. But just like Abraham, Moses chose to put his faith in God. What'd I do with my binoculars? There they are. Nice. See, Moses was an Israelite, one of God's people, but he would have been raised in Pharaoh's palace. Pharaoh was the leader of Egypt, and he had forced the Israelite people to work as slaves. <gasps> ah! One day, God called to Moses from a burning bush and told Moses to lead his people out of slavery. Hooray! Moses wasn't sure he was the man for the job, but in the end, he chose to stand with his people against Pharaoh. <clears throat> Sure enough, God used Moses to lead his people to freedom. Freedom! And that's not all. When you read the book of Hebrews, you discover a huge list of people who followed God by faith. The list goes on so long that the writer eventually stops naming them all. But one name that we can't forget to mention is Israel's greatest king, King David. You've got it. David knew that God had chosen him to be the king of God's people. But years passed, and it hadn't happened yet. To make matters worse, the current king, King Saul, wanted to kill him. Oh no! David spent years of his life on the run from King Saul. That must have been really hard for him. But David put his faith in God. Oh. None of these people from the Old Testament could see with their eyes how God was going to save his people. Instead, they chose to trust God and believe that he would keep his promises. They believed that God had a greater plan and they all chose faith. Listen to how the writer of Hebrews puts it. Go ahead and open your Bibles with us to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 39 through 40. Here's what it says. All these people were praised because they had faith, but none of them received what God had promised. That's because God had planned something better for us. Yes, God had something better planned for all of us. His big story has been taking shape all the way from the creation until now. And God did send his rescuer at the right time. He sent his son, Jesus, to be our savior. Jesus showed us what God is like. He even told us the most important thing we can do is to love God and love others. Hey, does that sound familiar? Uh, uh yeah. yeah. We love, love God and love, love people, people too. too. Yeah, Jesus came to earth to show us the way. When Jesus was killed, his friends and followers thought that the story was finished. But God made everything clear again when he raised Jesus back to life. Ah, yeah, I see. Now we can trust that anyone who believes and follows Jesus has the promise of eternal life. That's what faith means. We can believe and put our faith in Jesus even though we've never seen him with our own eyes. The early followers of Jesus, like Peter and John, showed us what faith looks like. They saw Jesus teach and heal. 
They saw him after God raised him back to life. Eventually, Jesus returned to heaven, and they couldn't see him anymore. But they didn't stop believing. They continued to follow Jesus. They continued to live by faith. These early Christians believed in what they couldn't see. They knew they were part of God's big story, even though they couldn't see the ending where God would make everything right. We can choose to believe just like they did. We can believe like the people in the Old Testament did. We can follow Jesus even though we can't see him. We can choose faith. Remember this, let's say it together. You can know Jesus. You, you can, can know, know Jesus. Jesus. Even though you've never seen him. Even, Even though, though you've, you've never, never seen, seen him. him. How about one more time? You can know Jesus. You, you can, can know, know Jesus. Jesus. Even though you've never seen him. Even, Even though, though you've, you've never, never seen, seen him. him. It's true. You may not be able to see Jesus with your eyes, but you can see how he loves and helps people. Mm -hmm. You can see how people can have faith in hard times because they put their trust in him. Well, Bridge Kids, let's pray together. Would you fold your hands and bow your heads with us? Dear God, thank you for giving us so many examples of people who put their faith in you. And God, thank you for reminding us too that we can put our faith in you and we can trust in you even when we can't see you and even when times get hard and trying. God, you're a God that is so good and that loves us all the time. So help us remember that. God, we love you so much. And it's in your son's name we pray that everyone says, Amen. 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 It's, it's, it's memory time. A new month means a new theme, and a new theme means a new memory verse. Yeah. Yes! So how about we bring out some of our favorite impressions to do with oh, the verse? What? Great idea! Yeah, honestly, this will probably help us remember this powerful oh. verse. Bridge Kids, we've got some of our favorites ready, but if you have an impression that you love to do, have mom or dad or grandparent take a video and send it our way. We'd love to see it. All right, here's mine. Let's see if you can guess it. Mm. Like zoinks! Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. scooby -Doo, where are you? <laughs> I love it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Here goes again! <laughs> and Mother always said, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. And life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bridge Kids, that is all the time that we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. And hey, I'm really looking forward to seeing your memory verse impressions. Yeah. Until next time, why don't we say this together? Boots and cats. Boots, boots and cats. cats. And cats and boots. And, and cats, cats and, and boots. boots. See ya. Bye. Bye. You know, shouldn't you sell gorillas in Walmart? What? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And this guy be like, cool. <laughs> Yeah, you should. Yeah. 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 I'll be like, Yeah. And you'd be like, Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That we can look through to see everything in life. It helps us to make sense of things and to know what to do when things get wrong. Hard. <laughs> Things when, get wrong. when things get wrong, <laughs> sure. Yeah, they sure do. Uh, Here you go. This, this. Okay. You either swallowed it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't swallow it? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Here we go. Okay. But then God stopped in. Not stopped.
He stepped in. He did stop in. I mean, he can still stop in. All right. <laughs> yeah, God promised. Oh, I walked right out of the camera. <laughs> Pharaoh was the leader. <laughs> I got to know when we're going to quit. We'll do it. Zoink, Scoob. Zoink, Scoob.